So we've got all sorts of colours in here. We've got lilac-y colours, we've got the brown ochre colours, we've got this sort of orangish yellow colour on the top here. And they're all they're all sort of helping to sort of bring the piece to life. And this is why I don't worry so much. You know, if you've picked a wrong colour, it just doesn't matter because you just you, you just go over the top of it and you incorporate it in. Um, you know, and if you can kind of get to grips with that it's it it just makes life so much nicer because <laughs> you're just not you're not every time you put a wrong stroke down or what you think is a wrong stroke it's just not a wrong stroke it's just part of your piece and you know you'll notice i never rub, rub anything out it's not because you know i'm the most amazing artist that i never make any mistakes i make loads of mistakes but i just incorporate them into what i'm doing and i don't worry about them i think you know when you make a when you make a big mistake or if you think you've made a big mistake, that can kind of have a really detrimental effect if you start trying to rub it out and, you know, all of that kind of thing. Because actually, it just makes you feel really, really bad. You know, oh, I've made a mistake. Oh, you know, gosh, that's rubbish, blah, blah, blah. Um, but, you know, I, honestly, the amount of times I've been drawing, and yeah, I create like an outline and stuff. I mean, it's not the brilliant, most brilliant of outline. But if I, if I think, oh... That hasn't worked particularly well i just i just incorporate it into the drawing and it and it never occurs to me that i've gone wrong or i've made a rubbish job or something um and that is a really really nice way um you know to be with your drawings because you then you you know you're not sort of sabotaging yourself or anything you you know anything like that um so um yeah now, some people sort of, um, you know, say, oh, I don't really like drawings because they, you know, it makes my, uh, makes everything go really shiny. Um, well, it, it's not really the drawing that makes everything go shiny. It's probably a few more, a few too many heavy layers and any pencil can, you can get that with any pencil, um, you know, and, and actually it doesn't really matter. Um once you get your glass on it it doesn't really show anyway so and and usually what happens is you'll say oh when I turn it this way or I look at it at a real angle I can see the shine and my answer is always well don't look at it at an angle <laughs> just stop it um you know just look at it head on like you're supposed to do and, and that's fine um <laughs> I'm, I'm all for a uh, you know easy um <laughs> quick fixes <laughs> just don't look at it in an angle um so i think we used the polychromos on the other one but, but i'm going to use the drawing on this one because uh, um, the lazy lazy beast i am which is pretty flipping awesome isn't it <laughs> i was reading a um reading a review today on um, something and they were they were talking about a review on um, pencils I think it was the castle the castle arts pencils so I've just been doing a little bit of research on them because obviously I've I've got my 120 of them now and I, I'm, I'm going to be doing a review of them but it was just saying and really interesting because a lot of colour pencil artists don't ever not use odourless mineral spirits and odorless mineral spirits are the the things that um, it's like zest it and um, that sort of stuff, uh, Mona Lisa and and Gamsol, and where you can actually put them onto your pencils and they all basically smear out. Um, and um, what's interesting is that when they talk about using the um, the the OMS, the odorless mineral spirits, they talk about having a a, a minimum minimum amount of layers before they actually you know um work properly and um it's it's about six six or seven so you've got to get six or seven layers down before you can actually use your odorless mineral spirits you know and usually people would use it to blend or to get sort of like a um you know a color in without getting rid of the tooth and everything and i'm just looking at what we've done here you know and I just think, you know, you don't need to use it. You really don't need to use it. And I think some people don't realise they don't have to use odourless mineral spirits to get, you know, really beautiful, um, you know, uh, results with their drawing. Some artists, they uh, they very rarely don't use it. Um, you know, it's sort of like their, their staple and that's, that's what they use to blend everything out. And, um, you know, and it's, um, it's, it's, 
it's fine to use if you want to use it i i choose not to use it i can't use zest it because that, that leaves me literally without words I, I, I it's like i've had a stroke it's hor horrific stuff um i can use something like this the only reason i've got this on my um, desk is because i've been doing oil painting but i can use something like that if i wanted to because that, that doesn't actually smell um, but it's still a chemical, um, you know, so it can still cause sort of headaches and all of that kind of stuff. And you, you've got to you've got to have a well ventilated area. But I use that for when I'm doing my oil painting, and that and it's okay. Um, but I wouldn't choose to use it with my pencils. Um, I just don't think. I'm, I just don't. I don't really like the effect, to be honest, of of what the um, um, of what it gives to the pencils. Um, I think, uh, you know, using pencils just on their own, I think is a much nicer effect. I mean, that's just my opinion. I wouldn't stop other people using it. Um, but I would say, you know, just be really, really careful if you do suffer from things like migraines and things like that, because it can affect you massively. The zest it, oh my goodness, I can't have that anywhere near me. It's the most awful stuff. And I say it's a lovely natural smell, it's not, it's vile. <laughs> um, but yeah, interesting that you you do have to get a lot of layers in before it's actually it's actually going to work for you, um, you know. So, right, okay. So let's look at just smoothing this out a little bit, um, bringing a little bit of colour into there. So I'm going to use that ochre again from the Pablo range. Um, we're just going to bring a little bit of that colour in there. 